So this is a quick comparison video of the Panasonic GH5 versus the Panasonic HCV800. HCV800 of course being a, a camcorder, as you'd think of a camcorder, and the GH5 is uh, a more professional um, movie camera or hybrid camera, as it takes stills as well. So I'm not going to go into great detail about the settings or anything like that, it's simply comparing one picture to the other. Both cameras are on automatic, um, both have got the same aperture setting. Uh, I'm going to walk around with them both next to each other, we'll just see how they do. Comparing both cameras side by side, uh, the modes are both set to Auto AI Plus with an Auto ISO. There's a slight difference in the codex, um, as you can see with the details below, and the quality is what we would normally use for day-to-day -day filming. Um, straight away you can see the Panasonic GH5 is more detailed, um, but the HCV800 is still doing a reasonable job, especially with the bright background there that you can see coming in through the window. Um, as we pan around, we'll be moving through into a much darker room. And the idea of this test is a very bright background with a very dark foreground. So in a moment we'll pan around to the right and you'll see that the light from the window will come streaming in. We can see what both cameras do. So in this shot, I would say the HCV800 handles it better. You can see there's more detail in the background panning back to the wall and both react in a similar sort of time so both have recovered quite well. We pan back round and make our way through to do the stabilisation test. And if we notice the detail on the GH5, like I say, it's, it's clearly a lot better. Now here we'll be panning round. Um, both have got the hybrid OIS stabilisation, very similar system on both. And it seems to handle it quite well. And then we'll try the shake test. So we're going to start shaking both cameras together quite violently to the left and to the right and just see what happens. So as we start shaking we're gradually increasing it and increasing it and you can see the GH5 gives out first so the GH5 is actually handling less better than the HCV800 until we go to the vertical movement where the GH5 now seems to be a lot better which is strange. Into the barrel motion you can see the GH5 almost pauses on each turn, so it does seem to handle that quite well as well. Moving into a dark area, this is actually really quite dark. So what we're looking for here is detail in shadows. If you look into the alcoves and things, you can see the GH5 does pick up the detail a lot better, but you'd expect that given that it's got a much bigger sensor. You can see here focus is still holding quite well on both cameras. When we're looking at the detail of the red paint and things on the mantelpiece and the green on the walls. As we're panning round, if you look at the floor now, the GH5 has retained a lot more detail, whereas the HCVs, I wouldn't say it were blurry, but it's certainly lost a lot of the details on the floor. Moving into the forest, again looking at the floor, you can see the greens clearly in the foliage and the branches of the trees on the, on the GH5 is certainly much sharper. Again, this is down to the 4K sensor. But the, GH, the HCV800 is handling it quite well as well. Looking up at the foliage in, in the sky, what we're looking for here is a chromatic aberration. Zooming into the GH5, obviously it's lens dependent, but you can see there is a little bit there. But compared to the HCV800, there's actually quite a lot. But you'd expect that. Moving back down, you can see how both cameras handle the change from bright to dark, and both do a reasonable job, and it's reasonably quick. So now this is in the mine. So the idea of this test is very low light conditions with a very bright background again, and you can see here the blacks are very black, and the GH5 is actually handling it quite well. I'm quite pleased with the way the GH5 is is handling this situation. As we pass through the shot, there is the very bright light at the far end of the passage, and the grain isn't that noticeable. Now moving over to the HCV800, it does seem to be fighting for focus, which isn't what I would have expected, so um, it's unusual for the camcorder to not focus. It is actually very good at focusing compared to the GH5, which does tend to struggle sometimes. And here you can see 
as we're walking back towards the camera, it really does show up the grain, both are on the same ISO settings, so this is clearly just an indication that the smaller sensor is handling this a lot less well than the larger sensor of the GH5. In a moment we'll compare both images side by side, so you can get a clear view of how both are handling the, the dark conditions. And immediately you can see the GH5 is much darker in the blacks, the blacks are much blacker. Everything looks a little bit washed out on the HCV at 100. And the footage here is completely unedited, it's exactly as it's come off the camera. So this is microphone test from both cameras. I'll overlay one sound clip onto the other and cycle between GH5 and the HTV 100. I'm at a distance here of about 3 metres to the cameras. I move to the back, back so you can see what the sound is like as we move behind. now behind both cameras, there is a bit of wind coming through the doorway, so hopefully the noise cancellation will be working quite well on both. But I'm not talking particularly loud. Move to the back, back so you can see what the sound is like as we move behind. So now behind both cameras, there is a bit of wind coming through the doorway, so hopefully the noise cancellation will be working quite well on both. But I'm not talking particularly loud. And this is what both cameras are like for vlogging, if you like. Both of them have got face detection and eye detection on. Both of them are tracking the, the movements quite well. If I move the cameras to and after the cameras, different backgrounds. Now the Panasonic GH5 is fitted with a 12 to 60mm lens, uh, which gives an equivalent roughly sort of 28ish millimetre um, on the smaller sensor of the uh, HCV 800. So actually with both cameras zoomed all the way out, it's a similar sort of um, distance from the a similar sort of uh, width picture from both cameras. Right, so now we've come into somewhere a little darker, so we've got a lot of light coming in through the side door, not much light behind us, so you can see the colour differences here. Move forwards and away, so you can see how the tracking's working. You can see it's very dark in the background. So that just about wraps up this video, so uh, this is comparing the Panasonic GH5 to the HCV800. Um, of course there's a massive price difference between the two, the GH5 with a lens costing uh, £1,699 and the HCV800 costing about £450, £480, that sort of area. Both similar sort of release date um, and both aimed at different markets. So give us a thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you hate it and please consider subscribing to the channel. We don't normally do videos like this, uh, normally our videos are a bit more exciting with a lot of exploring underground work and all this sort of thing. So have a look at the other, the rest of the, the rest of the videos on the channel and uh, see what you think.